In 2024 alone, Brian has won a silver medal in the Indonesia Masters, a bronze medal in the Pan Am Individual Championship in Guatemala, and a gold medal for Canada at the Brazil team event. Congratulations, Brian. Kimberly and good evening everyone. Uh, great to see so many people in our council chamber. Welcome to our community recognition night. An opportunity for us to recognize uh, individuals and organizations and groups, uh, people that come together in the pursuit of excellence, whether it's in sports, uh, whether it's in community building, supporting uh, various nonprofits, uh, supporting businesses in our community. Um, it's, it's an incredible community and there's so many uh, organizations that uh, contribute in so many different ways. Before I start, I just want to say thank you. Kimberly Kittingham is our clerk. I want to thank Kimberly and her staff along with our corporate communication staff for the wonderful work that they've done in organizing tonight's event. And uh, as you're sitting here tonight, if you're thinking, hey, wait a minute, I know of someone else that should have been recognized. Kimberly and her staff would love to organize another evening like this. So uh, if you know of others out there in the community that we need to shine this spotlight on, please uh, let us know. I also want to take a moment to recognize uh, members of our senior staff that are here uh, this evening. Uh, we have Andy Taylor, our Chief Administrative Officer, who's here. Claudia Storner, who's our, our uh, solicitor, but also our Director of People Services, who's here. Welcome, Claudia. Our Commissioner of Community Services, or sorry, Corporate Services, Trinella Kane. We can switch roles for the evening. Uh, our Commissioner of Community Services, Morgan Jones, who's here. Welcome, Morgan. And to our uh, Fire and Emergency Services Chief, Chris Neering, who's also here. And I would like to also thank uh, members of council, uh, not only tonight, but many of the initiatives that we undertake here at the City of Markham wouldn't happen without the contribution, support uh, uh, from our council. So I want to thank them uh, and the ones that were able to come tonight. We have uh, Ward 3 Councillor Reed McAlpine, who's here. Welcome, Councillor McAlpine. Ward 5 Councillor Andrew Keyes, who's here. Ward 6 Councillor Amanda Colucci, who's here. So thank you uh, for being here and to let you know that the others that couldn't be here, uh, they're just as supportive of the recognition that all of you are getting here tonight. It's been a tradition here at the City of Markham to have an opportunity to congratulate, as I said, everyone from our athletes to community advocates to uh, different organizations to business associations that really advance um, 
the success of, of the city and, and certainly we want an opportunity to, to thank and congratulate all of you. Uh, there's a lot that happens in the city of Markham and what I love about an evening like tonight, it allows us to see the successes of other people and other groups and uh, sometimes I've heard people say, geez, I didn't realize we had such an active organization doing this or I didn't realize that we had athletes or teens that had reached this level uh, of success. Just a few weeks ago, we had the opportunity to congratulate uh, five of our Olympians and Paralympians from uh, the city of Markham. And it was an outstanding celebration. But as much as that was a beautiful ceremony, a beautiful opportunity to congratulate them, uh, we also want to have opportunities to thank others that contribute in, in our community. And tonight, hopefully they were able to make it. I think we get a, a chance to also um, thank and congratulate uh, uh, Michelle Lee, uh, one of our outstanding badminton players, along with Brian Yang and Neil Yakura. And uh, I know that they have busy schedules and their, uh, their uh, training and competitions may have uh, interfered, I don't know. But um, again, our community has, has uh, really produced some outstanding athletes and uh, certainly we're gonna celebrate some of our younger athletes uh, here this evening. Uh, our motto in our coat of arms reads, leading while remembering. And there is a lot of history in this community, history that is celebrated, but history that's not forgotten because of the great work of so many organizations. So this year, the Markham Fair celebrated its 180th anniversary, an incredible achievement for an outstanding fair, one of the largest in the country, supported by over 500 volunteers that come together to put that fair on. Uh, Markham High, my alma mater, uh, celebrated its 70th anniversary this year. I was not there when the school first opened. I just wanted to make that very clear. But I did go to Markham High many years later. And I will just say, uh, even when I was there, I kept wondering when some dollars were going to be spent on fixing the place up a little bit. I think uh, they really had to spend a whole lot of money. But a great institution and... Uh, <clears throat> Uh, for those of you that now know, we have a new Markham High School that was just uh, redeveloped uh, a few years ago, and it is an outstanding place as well. Uh, I also want to say thank you to the Thornhill Historical Society. This is, a, again, a group of volunteers who dedicate their own time and effort to relive, recount, and to make sure that history is not forgotten and a very important part of our community. And in fact, uh, it was because of Marion Mathias who uh, pushed us at the time. I'll say pushed me personally, but you know, I know she spoke to many in the community that we have a statue of Benjamin Thorne at the entrance of the Thornhill Community Center. So we do live by the model on our coat of arms, leading while remembering, but it's because so many groups in our community keep that history alive. And so with that, this evening, uh, I just want to say congratulations to each and every one of you. I know some of you, when you first got the outreach from us at, at my anniversary or of the organization was a couple of years back, uh, I just want to say we are playing a bit of catch up, as you can appreciate, but we, do not, we did not want the moment to go by to say thank you in person, congratulate you in person, and again, recognize the milestones that you have. Uh, we have significant milestones that we've achieved here in the city of Markham as well. I, I know we got a chance to talk about them. Tonight, uh, the floor is yours. You'll hear your organizations mentioned. You'll hear some of your individual names mentioned. But I will just say that uh, all of us, our council, our staff, our community, are very proud of, of all of you and thank you for everything you do in uh, the contributions that you make, the way that you succeed and that you inspire all of us to continue to do better. So with that, I'm gonna hand it over to Andy Taylor, who's our Chief Administrative Officer. Thankfully, there's not as many names uh, he has to work on. I know there's quite a few. 
I, I just say this up front, and I think you can appreciate for anyone when you've been in those shoes, it's not always easy to know exactly how names are pronounced. So don't judge Andy's capabilities and competency <laughs> on how well he pronounces each of your names. I know he'll be very happy when you come by. If he hasn't pronounced your name correctly, just lean over and tell him how it is pronounced, and he'll gladly uh, tell the rest of the room. Uh, but again, Andy, over to you, and thank you so much for making time here this evening to give us a chance to recognize each and every one of you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, Mayor Scarpini, and good evening, everyone, and welcome to the City of Markham's Community Recognition Night. Tonight, we will celebrate various Markham athletes, organizations, and individuals for their outstanding achievements over the last couple of years. We are glad to be able to do this in person once again. The successes being recognized this evening serve as an inspiration to all of us that great potential can be realized through hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. Tonight's honorees, whether they're being recognized for achievement in competition or their dedication to civic service, have contributed to making Markham a city of renown, a city of which we can all be very proud. Before we be we'll begin with Badminton Canada. Markham's achievement at the national and international stage in badminton has been nothing short of remarkable. We begin with two-time Olympian, Brian Yang. Brian, here too. In 2024 alone, Brian has won a silver medal in the Indonesia Masters, a bronze medal in the Pan Am Individual Championship in Guatemala, and a gold medal for Canada at the Brazil team event. Congratulations, Brian. I'm really happy that Brian was able to, uh, to, to make it. Um, he was unfortunately just flying back as we were getting set to uh, to have our celebration and unfortunately uh, got sick and uh, couldn't be there that day but brian i just want to let you know even in your absence we we talked about you and acknowledged you and uh, congratulated you on your participation at the olympics and uh, so happy that you're able to, to come here we're very proud of you and and certainly uh, you're someone that we're going to continue to watch for a long time in the game of badminton and bringing recognition to Canada. So again, congratulations to Brian. Young. Is Neil Yakura? Neil? Neil's not here, but I'll just uh, read you a little bit about Neil. Neil is another two-time Olympian, and his partner, Adam Dong, have captured several doubles titles over the years. Again, in 2024 alone, they won silver at the Pan Am individual competition down in Guatemala, and another gold medal for Canada in doubles at the Brazil team event. Congratulations, Neil and Adam. <laughs> Finally, we'd like to recognize and congratulate Michelle Lee. Michelle is the most successful Canadian female badminton player of all time. Not only is she a four-time Olympian, Michelle has won four gold medals and a one bronze medal at the Pan American Games and a gold and silver at the Commonwealth Games and six golds and two silvers at the Pan American Championships. Michelle, your achievements are remarkable and the City of Markham congratulates you. The Mayor would like to also present a certificate of appreciation to Badminton Canada. Is any Next, we'd like to recognize a group of students from Bill Hogarth Secondary School for their outstanding achievement in earning second place at the 2023 International Leadership Conference of HOSA, Future Health Professionals. This highly competitive international competition saw three Markham students shine as they created and demonstrated an eight-month campaign raising awareness and acceptance about autism in our local community. 
Their commitment and dedication did not stop there as each has acted as the president of the Hofsa chapter at Bill Holgar Secondary School. So we'd like to congratulation or congratulate Arya Deer. Arya Deer. Raya Lamb. Is Raya here? Uh, congratulations goes to Raina Ewan. We now recognize an individual who has practiced family medicine for over 45 years and after a long and dedicated career retired in 2022. In addition to his countless years of service taking care of Markham families, Dr. Jason Kwok has also worked as a medical col columnist, continuing well into his retirement. In total, Jason has contributed over 750 articles and has conducted numerous interviews on both TV and radio. So on behalf of the community, Jason, we'd like to thank you for your years of service to our community and throughout your medical career for your dedication to various charitable organizations over the years. Doctor? Next we recognize Molly Zhang, another Markham resident who has played an important role in our community. Alongside working as a teacher, Molly spends, is it Molly or Molly? Mally, sorry. Mally spends her time volunteering on various committees. For the past several years, Molly, Molly has organized the Markham Multicultural Spring Festival Gala. Her skill is clearly showcased when it comes to planning large-scale events such as Diwali and the Mid-Autumn Festival here in Markham. Now, having previously won the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Medal and the Ontario Volunteer Service Award, we are happy to also have the opportunity to thank Molly for her hard work. Mayor, the next organization is celebrating not only individual athletic achievement, but also a major milestone. The Markham Aquatic Club, also known as MAC, is a volunteer-based swim club home to over 300 swimmers and they just recently celebrated its 50th anniversary in 2023. <laughs> the club is the second home for athletes as they train and work, spending countless hours perfecting every stroke with the help of dedicated coaches and staff. One featured program called the Olympic Prospects acts as a gateway for athletes at the competitive age to develop their skills and work towards competing at the highest levels. Tonight, we are also congratulating the following athletes for having placed either first, second, or third in provincial, national, and international competitions. Our first honoree is Amy Chai. Can we get everybody from that? Lily Chai. Lily? Next up is Andrew Chen. Andrew? <laughs> Maxwell Chong. Maxwell? Shu Do. Shu. Ki Kong. <laughs> Jasmine Nichols. Jasmine? Adora Oprah, Victoria Sun, Braden Tyvashalo, Kisa Tyvashalo, no, Max Vora B. F. <laughs> Angela Wayne. Scott Watson, Ashley Wilkie, 
Bellini Shu, Alex Hill, Paul Z Zeleni. And you must be Jerry Jane. <laughs> Mr. Mayor is the Markham Arts Council. Now, the Markham Arts Council is a not-for-profit organization that works to enrich the lives of Markham residents through cultural and arts programming here in the city of Markham. And over the last 20 years, the Markham Arts Council has had a great impact on our local community in areas such as artist support, community building, art accessibility, economic and contribution to the city and educational impact. So the Markham Art Council continues to evolve, adapting to the community's needs while maintaining its core mission, which is enhancing the cultural life of Markham through the arts. We'd like to thank all those over the years who have contributed to the organization's success and to accept their certificate on behalf of the Markham Art Council, we welcome Renu Neta. Stephen Chait, Stephen here, Stephen's not here. We also have Mr. Ken Kaplan, who's the vice chair, and Sandra Tam, who is also the vice chair. <laughs> Councillor uh, Amanda Clucci, who is uh, our council representative on Markham Arts Council. As the mayor mentioned uh, a little while ago, Markham District High School celebrates 70 years of educating Markham youth. And since its inception, the school has always and continues to play an important role in the education of secondary students in Ontario. For example, Markham District High School is only one of 60 schools in the province to have a classics department. It is also renowned for its music department, with performances occurring at the city's Flat O Markham Theatre, and athletic achievement as the city marauders. Today we'd like to recognize the 70th anniversary of Markham District High School and invite Janet Whiteley and other York Region District School Board professionals to accept our congratulations. Janet, are you here to I'd like to now invite back celebrations. Congratulations are given to the Markham District Softball Association Markham Mavericks under 17 team and their outstanding performance at the Ontario Select Softball Tournament Association's under 17 provincial championships in fast pitch softball. The Mavericks team played an impressive seven games competing against 15 other teams where they then secured their first place title. This team demonstrated exceptional skill, dedication, and teamwork throughout their months of training and over the competition weekend. Congratulations to all our local young Maverick athletes. First up is Audrey McKenzie. Chloe Hoey. Daniela Haspolovsky. Emma Chionglo. Caitlin Wynn. Carmen Lien. Kristen Ng. Ambike, Olivia Yang, Sarah Wozniak, Summer Neal, Mia Mastrofini. I 
believe, Mayor, we also have a certificate of appreciation to the club itself. So if there's any coaches or, or uh, officials. <laughs> Mayor previously mentioned another wonderful organization in this city, Markham Fair. And nothing captures Markham's agricultural heritage like the Markham Fair. Established, and get this, 1844, the Markham Fair is one of Canada's oldest country fairs. It is hosted by the Markham and East York Agricultural Society and attracts over 80,000 visitors each year. And 2024 marks the 180th anniversary of the Markham Fair. And not only does it offer local community a chance to gather together, but it also showcases rural living and preserves heritage while evolving to meet modern day expectations. We'd like to welcome Scott Redshaw, the president of the Markham Fair, to accept this certificate. Scott. We also congratulate the Markham Skating Club on celebrating its 60th anniversary. Since 1964, this club has been at, ho at the home for skaters of all ages throughout the city of Markham. Markham Skating Club's mission is very clear. From building a solid foundation to helping individuals reach their goals and dreams, our ultimate mission is to inspire a lifelong love for the sport of skating, which is exactly what they have been doing for the kids in Markham over the last 60 years. I'd like to call up the following to accept the certificate of appreciation and offer our congratulations. Co-presidents Meredith Blake and Kathy Mannion, as well as communications coordinator Megan Chin Falk. So, Mayor, our next individual is not here tonight, but I thought I'd read the uh, congratulations out uh, regardless. Michelle Leah is a proud Markham resident who has made an incredible impact in Markham, the greater Toronto area, Ontario, Canada, and beyond. In fact, there are too many achievements to list tonight, but here are a few of the highlights. Michelle is currently the president of both the Canada Chong King Association and the North American Business Association, as well as executive chairman of the Chinese Canadian National Federation. This is a culmination of years of dedication to trade, commerce, and partnership between local and foreign businesses. Michelle has also excelled in humanitarian work and answered the call to help those who are suffering, such as when she joined the Sichuan Earthquake Disaster Relief Committee in 2008 and in 2020, as COVID began to spread across the GTA, Michelle was part of the organization that formed the Love Alliance Assistant Team to help people returning from act epidemic areas to Canada and help them buy daily necessities and medicines during their 14-day home quarantine. Michelle also spearheaded various fundraising to provide personal protective equipment to Markham Stouffville Hospital during COVID. So please help me to thank and congratulate Michelle for all her hard work here in the city. Our next group, Mayor, is the Millican On The Move Older Adults Club. Now this club was established 25 years ago and has continuously grown throughout the years. It now has over 700 members throughout the city of Markham. They operate out of four community centers and the club provides facilities for seniors to meet and socialize while helping them to pursue a very active lifestyle. These fun activities include things such as Zumba and ballroom dancing, with classes hosting up to 100 participants. Markham on the Move Older Adults Club is solely operated by volunteers who make all these activities possible. So we'd like to congratulate 
the Millican on the Move Older Adults Club. I'm 25 years of great service to the City of Markham and to thank all the volunteers and board members for their very, dedi very dedication and hard work over the many, many years. Now to accept the certificate on behalf of the Millican on the Move Older Adult Club are Kwan Young Chu, the President, Jim Yam, Eliza, Eliza Rao, Kin Ming Chu, Titus Kaur, and Rebecca Yam. C.S. Jung, Next up, we have the Thornhill Historical Society. The Thornhill Historical Society has been a champion for historical preservation in Thornhill for over 50 years. This organization has worked on projects throughout Thornhill, Vaughan, and Markham, helping these communities foster a deeper connection between the community and its local heritage. Members of the society have worked closely with local residents, schools, and businesses to host festivals and walking tours, allowing residents the opportunity to learn about the local history and to allow space for a new appreciation of the historic villages in our community. Despite rapid urban development, the society continues its commitment to preserving Thornhill's uniquely built heritage and cultural identity. So congratulations to all members of the Thornhill Historical Society for their 50 years of dedication. I would like to now call upon Duessa Duplau, Hopefully I've got that right. And Barry Nelson to accept this certificate. Thank everyone. That brings us to the end of the formal presentations. Again, congratulations to everyone here tonight. Your dedication to your craft, your sport, and our community has made us all a better place to live. So I'll now turn it back to the mayor for closing remarks. Mayor? Well, thank you. Let's give Andy a big hand for getting through all the names and descriptions and capture what, uh, what all the achievements uh, were. And uh, I hope that uh, you've had an opportunity not only to uh, enjoy a bit of the spotlight tonight, but also to see all the other uh, successes that we have in, in the community. So congratulations to everyone. And this evening, once again, we were uh, blessed with some wonderful performers that were here. Uh, we had uh, wonderful music by uh, Min Hee Choi. If she'd like to come forward, I'd like to say thank you very much, uh, Min Hee Choi. And I understand you're playing afterwards as well. Yeah, that'll be wonderful. We're really blessed to have her. I know she's... Uh, an amazing performer, has uh, taken part in many uh, musicals and, and productions, and I thank you for being with us uh, here this evening. And uh, someone who is no stranger to this council chamber um, and probably has to probably build another wall for all the certificates she has received, but I would like to uh, invite Keisha Wynn back up. Thank you for your revolution of North Canada and what a wonderful work. Closing, just a couple of logistics. We are going to get a group picture of everyone over here, and I'd ask uh, members of council and members of our senior management team uh, to join us. And then, um, not sure how soon, but probably by the end of the week, or if not by the end of the week, certainly next week, you'll be able to see all of the photos on Markham's Flickr account. And uh, everyone under 20 can explain to everyone else what that is, uh, so they know where to find the, the photos. Uh, but uh, you'll be able to see them there, and uh, uh, we do have a reception outside and an opportunity for you to get more photos, either with your friends or with uh, others. Uh, that's all set up outside as well. Uh, I just want to say thank you for coming out uh, this evening. Congratulations to you, uh, one and all. 
there, there isn't truly a day that goes by in Markham uh, that we don't hear or see uh, some achievement by someone in, in our community. And, you know, sometimes, sometimes, when we're sitting in this council chamber, and we know that we're pretty well by ourselves, uh, working away at policy, working away at decisions, um, sometimes it's wonderful to hear those pieces of news about people in our community, because it makes it all worthwhile when we're sitting here and seeing that whether it's our investment in uh, recreational facilities, whether it's support for groups that start up and initially need some help so that they can succeed, to uh, people who uh, are community builders and want to make sure that seniors are not isolated in their home, uh, to those that, uh, again, spend so much time documenting uh, the important past that we've had. When we see that, it validates everything that we do here. And so in those moments of perhaps frustrating meetings sometimes or sifting through reports and presentations, nothing makes us prouder when we see individuals and groups in our community succeeding in what they do. Because at the end, that's what we want. We want a community where people can uh, pursue their interests, share that knowledge with the rest of the community, support others that are vulnerable, and make sure that people who have a dream to perform, to excel in sports, whatever it might be, either here locally or one day at the Olympics, we want you to be able to fulfill those dreams. So to all of you, it is called Community Recognition Night, but really it's a, an opportunity for all of us to celebrate each other and realize how fortunate we are to be in a community like Markham. And it is because of the people. That's what motivates us each and every day. And uh, I, I just want to say thanks to everyone, because I know that tonight we may have mentioned an organization, we may have mentioned a name, but we recognize that that, that accomplishment, that achievement didn't happen in isolation. And it's because our community comes together that we see the success here in the city of Markham. So congratulations once again to all of you. Thank you for coming out tonight. And in closing, if you could join us in this area for a group photo, and then we get to go outside and enjoy a reception. Congratulations. Thank you. Everyone smile, please. <laughs> Try your best. Try your best. <laughs> I live in Richmond Hill, but I train in Northern. Right. So.